What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing here. Okay, here goes nothing. Did you move? <laughs> Why am I so scared? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Today is going to be an awesome do-it-yourself project. I thrifted a couple of old scarves that I turned into kimonos. Now let me show you how I did it. Okay, so here are the scarves in their original form. I thrifted these last week. And you can use any scarf you have already. And I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there. I have no idea what I'm doing again. But I do have a pattern in mind and instead of showing it with the scarves, I'm gonna put up a pattern I did with the good old paint tool on my computer, showing you how I'm going to cut, sew, and mend the scarf, hopefully to fit me as a kimono. Now, the first one is going to be this pink peachy tone one and that one is where I am going to fold it equally in half and then cut up in the middle and then the turquoisey greeny blue aqua colored one I'm going to try and have the back piece a little longer as shown in the picture that I made and see if I can do it that way now for some reason, the green one has tassels on three corners, but I don't know why one corner doesn't have them. It's weird. But it's a unique piece nonetheless, and uh, let's bust out the sewing machine and get this party started. I actually started by removing all the tags. Okay, because this scarf is a tube scarf where it's sewn together, I need an opening. Now I'm debating on, do I cut or try to, mm, I don't know. Should this be the bottom part or should this be the top part? Let's just do this. This is gonna be the top part and we're going to cut. This is the lower part of our kimono. And then we're gonna cut like shown in the pattern one layer of fabric all the way up to the seam here for the opening and then we're going to sew two sides and we're obviously going to sew the hem because we're cutting it all right let's start by cutting the lower seam so it opens up i might need to stand for this let's turn this this way all right i know what i'm doing i think now you want sharp scissors for this. All right, here we go. <laughs> Why am I so scared? Okay, here we go, here we go. Nope, I have to turn it. Ooh. Like I said, I'm not professional. <laughs> Taking my time. All right, now we have to find the middle part to cut the opening for the head or the shoulders and the head. And we want to be careful not to cut, but only the first layer. So pretty good. And I'm gonna cut it up to the seam here. I'm so scared that I'm gonna get the second layer. Easy does it. Oh, 
the way up to the seam. All right, now that we have the opening in the middle in the front here, I'm going to now pin, fold and pin all of the edges that I cut to make them nice and clean and so they won't come apart. Then we'll do the arms, the holes for the arms, or so the sides last. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's get out our pins. I'm now debating on maybe I should do a zigzag and then fold. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now that I got you, why don't you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't die on me! <laughs> oh. Dang it. Oh. Dang it. And no. wash my hands. All right, fingers crossed. Hopefully we can get at least this, this kimono ready. Oh, come on, sewing machine. Okay, here goes nothing. Whew, so far, so good. Slowly but surely. All right, now we'll do the, the arm holes and then ooh, attack the other one, I guess. <laughs> All right, I think what I want to do is instead of sewing it all the way up, I'm just gonna stitch a few here and then let this be open. I think it's gonna look better. So instead of sewing all the way down like I had in my pattern, I'm just gonna stitch a few inches here and then have it like a slit on the side. Now let's tackle the second scarf. All right, now I have to figure out if this has like a right side. This is probably the right side. And now the first scarf didn't turn out as I had planned, but better. And I'm hoping the same happy accident is going to happen with this guy. Now, um, like I said before, I wanted the back piece to be longer for this. And now I just have to determine how much of the front piece I want to cut. Hmm. Let's measure the thing so we know, and I don't think it's a square, but let's see. So it's about 142, and then we'll do this part down here. All right, so the shorter side is going to be the width and the longer is going to be the length. Now, I'm still gonna do the back piece slightly longer than the front piece. Because this isn't a tube scarf like the first one, the only cut we have to make is the one in the middle. So we have like the neckline and then we're just gonna stitch like we did for the first one, just a couple of stitches on the side because I like the opening. It gives a more airy, flowy kind of feel to it. So let's start by cutting the neckline and then we're going to sew it like we did the previous scarf and then do the little arm holes. <laughs> okay, now this is the middle seam, our neckline, and I pinned it here. It's not halfway, because I don't want it to be halfway. And we're just going to gently, slowly cut it. It's easier if the fabric is taut to cut it. I was gonna teach it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love how easy this is to make. Okay, next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to fold it, pin it, and sew it so it doesn't get frilly. Oh, maybe I want to zigzag it before I pin it. All right, now we can fold and pin. Let me just see that I get the right side. I think it would be better if I could double fold it because this fabric is barely fabric and I think it would, let's see if I can. Now if I had an iron, I could iron this and then fold it, but I think I can get it like this. Just the trick is to get it started, eh? Slowly and steady. Oh no! Last pin. All right, now hopefully we can uh, sew this. Like I mentioned, the, the fabric is so flimsical that we're gonna have to take it one stitch at a time. Okay, let's see where we wanna have the stitches for the arms. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I'm gonna say one of my favorite do-it-yourself projects. These turned out better than I could ever imagine. I did struggle with the sewing machine a little bit, but it came through, worked perfectly in the end. And I am just so in love with these new awesome pieces that I thrifted and made into a entirely different outfit piece item <laughs> hit that like button if you enjoyed this video comment below if you're gonna do something like this i hope this inspires you to create with something maybe that you already have in your closet old scarves that you don't use anymore you can reuse them subscribe to the channel so you can find your way back for next week's video take care now Camera. Deja vu. Oh, I'm making a mess. Why oh, you said deja vu?